Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And Governor Gavin Newsom of the great state of Florida, he set off a firestorm today when he responded to the indictment of former President Donald Trump or the pending indictment of former President Donald Trump on federal charges from Special Prosecutor Jack Smith. Before we get started, please, ladies and gentlemen, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So DeSantis was actually talking about military readiness and giving a military-style speech, basically, to a group of people, to an audience, a military-friendly audience, when all of a sudden, news broke about the indictment of Donald Trump. And DeSantis had to give off-the-cuff remarks. And his response infuriated the fans of former President Trump. But I want you to take a look at the video and see if you would also be infuriated by it or if you understand what he's saying. Let's take a look. First, you mentioned or in your earlier answer, you talked about the criminalization of politics, but you also mentioned it wasn't about whether it's right or wrong. Do you think that former President Trump's actions were wrong on January 6th, and separately, do you think that gay and transgender people should serve openly in the military on a separate topic? Okay, so the second one we said we're not going to do the, the transgender or the gender ideology, um, and that's, that's a mission readiness. That had been the policy prior to Biden. He's changed it. Uh, he's included the sex change and all that, so we're going to go back to pre-Biden um, on the gender ideology uh, for that. Uh, so look, there's a difference between being brought up on criminal charges and, and doing things. Like, for example, um, I think it was shown how he was in the White House and didn't do anything while, while things were going on. Uh, he should have come out more forcefully. Of, of course that. But to try to criminalize that, that's a, diff that's a different issue entirely. And I think that we, we want to be in a situation where, you know, you don't have one side just constantly trying to put the other side in jail. And, and that, unfortunately, is, is uh, what we're seeing now. So there's, um, again, I have, I just, someone had whispered this to me, so I'm sure I'll have a chance to, to look at this uh, in the future, uh, depending on, on the developments, but, but I kind of uh, what I was going to do. Okay, well, uh, thank you all. It's great to be here. Um, God bless everyone. And let's get this military back to focusing on mission first. Thank you. Now the edited version is only 15 seconds and that's the one that's taken fire across the internet. And that just shows him saying that Trump should have responded more forcefully on January 6th. But it doesn't go into detail where he actually talks about, he thinks the Justice Department is being weaponized and the criminalization of political opponents is a very dangerous precedent. Now this is something of course that I think is going on I think the ultimate goal here is to stop Donald Trump from becoming president of the United States. And I believe if Trump was not trying to become president of the United States again, these cases would not be happening. You have to understand, if Trump is convicted here by a Washington, D.C. jury, Washington, D.C. is a place where 95 or more percent of the population vote Democrat. So if he's convicted by a D.C. jury, of anything involving sedition or insurrection, he cannot legally be president of the United States. So a lot of this, to a lot of people, seems like this is just a ploy to get him out of the White House or to get him from getting back to the White House. But what I want to know is what you guys think of DeSantis's comments. Are you infuriated by them? Or do you think they were taken out of context and then looking at it in the full one-minute video context, you understand what he's saying. I disagree with him that Trump could have been more forceful. He said before the protest that he wanted people to be peaceful and respect law enforcement. See, and he, he never advocated for violence, which is why I think these charges are ridiculous to begin with. But I want to know your opinion on DeSantis's comments, and I also want to know what you think of the whole case. So please let me know that in the comments. Also, again, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.